Meanwhile, the United States mission in Nigeria says it will continue to promote partnerships that advance the development of Nigeria's tech and startup ecosystem to catalyze technological progress, as well as promote a more robust U.S.-Nigeria trade and investment relationship. The U.S. Consul General, Will Stevens, stated this while delivering a keynote address at Global Tech Africa Summit held in Lagos. Stevens admitted that Nigeria is rapidly being recognized by Global Tech companies as a center for tech talent and innovation. In her welcome address, Dr. Inya Lawal emphasizes the opportunities inherent with Nigeria playing a significant role in driving the growth of the African tech ecosystem. The creativity and, and the access to capital, that's really about taking that creativity and getting access to capital so that Nigerian companies can prosper. We can continue to see more unicorns, billion dollar companies coming out of the Nigeria tech ecosystem. Five of the nine African unicorns are already based here in Lagos, and we expect that to continue to grow. And, and as you're more and more successful, I believe deeply that success begets success. And so we, the U.S. government, the Biden administration is deeply committed to partnering together with Nigeria and the ecosystem to continue to generate this uh, root growth. There's a focus right now for us on trade and not aid. Because what has happened so far is, you know, monies are brought in as aid, but now we're saying we're ready for trade. Nigeria has always been ready. Again, it's about bringing everyone together. So you find that sometimes there are government initiatives that will serve people in the, in the private sector, but the private sector doesn't know, they don't know about it, or they don't have information about it, or they don't know how to access it. So what we're doing essentially is to say, for the private sector, we want the government to listen. For government, we want the private sector to listen. And the development sector that is also supporting all of these initi initiatives, we want to bring them in and have the conversation and let's build the, this ecosystem together. There's a big focus on Nigeria, um, even a bigger focus um, on Africa, but Nigeria is taking the lead as well. In when it comes to technology, Africa is moving forward in leaps and bounds. And we're moving beyond and punching above our weight, especially here in Nigeria. A lot of these efforts, government is behind, but many of the efforts are private run, private uh, driven. Um, all we need to do is have government take technology, take Nigerians, take the young people a lot more seriously, and uh, Nigeria will, will explode in, 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 in geometric proportion. While commending Nigeria for taking the center stage in tech development in Africa, allayed fears were expressed by many over the development of artificial intelligence, AI. President Biden announced uh, voluntary commitments from many of the leading firms in AI to talk about safety, security, and trans transparency. Right? How are these companies going to allow this? Because as we look at the industry in AI, many of the leading companies are based in it. So President Biden has been leaning forward on this, leaning in, and working together. We heard Sam Altman was here in Lagos talking about how we can bring AI to to the people, how they, Nigeria can help shape the development and growth of this transformative technology. And it's something that is going to impact all of our lives in ways that probably many of us don't yet understand. I certainly don't. But it's something that we're keenly aware of. Security, safety, and transparency. Pin US Asian community of talents, of business people, of artists, of techies and scientists who form a new relationship. Because our world is changing along, for example, generative AI. Generative AI will change everything. And we should align together to develop it together. We embrace the internet. It has become a part of our lives, right? Did that make us lazy? I think what it would do is to make us more productive. There will be a lot of productivity. And we'll be able to do a lot of amazing things faster, unlike before. And then allows us to be able to you know, see what's the next frontiers is, you just mentioned AI, and think about all the other amazing innovations that would happen as a result of a platform like this. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.